All right, what's going on, Hot Squad, and welcome to my last Hot Banger recap of the week. So this is actually is not a recommended video for more subscribers. So we're gonna check out a YouTuber named Seven One Three Rich Kid. Shout out to you, man. And this is his Deadpool Wolverine recap. And this one's called When Deadpool Wolverine Bots for Twenty Four Hours Straight. So basically, this is actually the whole scene when both Deadpool Wolverine was fighting the Hot Odyssey. One of the funniest. That was one of the funniest fights in the movie ever. I was like, how the hell are you gonna fight inside a Honda Odyssey, though? Know? I was like, damn, they got they they was such such creativity for that but overall i freaking love devil wolverine i saw in theaters and unfortunately if y'all gonna ask me if i'm gonna do a movie yet to it i'm not too sure yet i'm not too sure yet but for now i won't do it for now because you know look i got work i got college i won't have time to do a movie reaction for it and also like i said i already seen it but i love to see it again uh, don't get me wrong i'd love to see see it again because i freaking loved it so other than that, let's go see this uh, recap of Deadpool Wolverine by 713 Decay right now. And let's end this hot banger recap marathon off right now. Let's check it out. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. My man becomes an advocate of early abortions because he stabbed my goat oh. in the nuts. You got to pocket for that one, bro. <laughs> what do you gain from that? <laughs> right. So we all know our deadly dump truck booty dead no truck. Now wasted war machine Wolverine, right? And do you know what happens when you put them two up against each other in a fight? You get peak yep. f***ing cinema. Yep. And yes, there will be slight spoilers ahead for the new Deadpool and Wolverine movie. But for this video, I'm only getting into the fights between them, so if you want to see more, take your ass to the movie theaters. <laughs> yeah, my nigga, and you could put my balls <laughs> on a pita bread with some hummus and tahini and eat that to the face. So, <laughs> by the way, it's undigital, y'all. So buy on digital. I'm not too sure it's something theaters, but it just recently came on digital. I'm seeing a lot of reactions for it too. Deadpool and Wolverine get teleported to a whole different dimension and we see our Merc with the mouth laying on the floor. He asks Wolvie for some help, but my man walks up and puts the knives into his is. love handles. My nigga then had a blast from the past because he got hit with the same move that he did to a random soldier in his first movie. <laughs> really turned a Marvel goat into a shish kebab. That's some dirty work, huh? I can't even lie to you. So then Wolvie, or Logan, start asking questions about where they posted up at. And my boy Deadpool start cracking jokes as usual like he Kevin Hart doing Stand up. All right, all right, all right. Head ass. So while Deadpool laying out jokes upon jokes upon jokes, like he's stacking plus twos and plus fours and Uno, Wolverine over here posted up like EDP talking about some. Do you see me fucking laughing? And then does the most outrageous thing I've seen in media to date. Besides literally any death of the boys, of course. My man becomes an advocate. I have yet to see the boys season four, y'all. I know I, I, I've been missing out the season four so much kit of early abortions because he stabbed my goat in the nuts. Bro, I know you got anger issues, but what is your problem? <laughs> DreamCon 2024 just passed and now you decide to do a Cassie Cage cosplay and pop someone's oh, man? Uh, you out of pocket for that one, bro. What do you gain from this? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what he gained from that. He gained himself a comic book cover in the DC Universe because after he castrated DP like a new purchased puppy, he lifts him up and then breaks his back like how Bane did to Batman. Oh, my mama, all you gotta do is outline these two idiots and place them in front of the original artwork and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference at all. They would've said, photo shoot, pose. Yeah. Pose. Pose. Yeah. pose. So after that straight embarrassment, they get to trash talking each other and then Deadpool literally gets backstabbed and lifted up to the pearly gates. This nigga was looking like baby Simba being lifted up by Rafiki in the Lion King. But then he straight reverses the move, puts this wolf among us looking at dude in a chokehold and then blew his loads all up in his insides. What did he say? Hey, 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 hey! Don't you dare say pause or a yo or none of that. It's a Deadpool video, okay? I had to throw in at least one gay joke for the one time. No, you didn't. <laughs> but then Logan headbutts DP's nose and straight throws this man through a whole wall. Had bro looking like he a star in a Kool-Aid commercial for real. But now Wolverine ready to turn up because he getting his ready stance. And my nigga over here decides to hit the cleanest reload I've ever yes. seen in my yes. life. He got... Rest in pieces, Fox, by the way. 20th Century Fox. Gotta be a fan of Call of Duty for real, because that's some inhuman shit. So then he let them things kick, but Logan just eats them bullets like a McDonald's Happy Meal and then charges Deadpool. Now, me personally, if I see a grown ass man charging me like a six foot hyena, I'm simply pressing game over on my life. Cause you ain't about to sink your teeth in my balls and all me. Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. 
So back to the action, and they start swinging on each other. But then my goat with cancer hits a slow mo catch with his sword and really Ooh. start going in. They parrying each other over and over, but yeah. they start stabbing each other as well. I mean, there are more stabs in this fight scene than Harris on Playboy Cardi head. <laughs> and Cardi fans, y'all gotta face reality. Like it or not, this nigga is balling. That's just how it is. I'm officially changing his name to Playboy Cardi. Sorry, hey, not hey, sorry. Boy. You shut up! I'm so fucking scared right now, you shut up! <laughs> so then Deadpool start weaving every hit like he Muhammad Ali in the ring, and then hit a 360 super flip to parry Wolverine even more. He then follow up with a whole roundhouse kick and puts his sword through Logan's chest like Caleb City getting snuck by some ninjas. But my man Logan's like, never back down, never what? Cause he's still fighting, but my goat stabs bro one more time and then start dancing on him, bruh. Oh, nah. Somebody come look at this. My mans is really dancing on one of the strongest Marvel characters out there. This is a whole fight to the death. And you over here dancing like you Eddie Gordo? I'm already knowing Wolverine was seated over there like, why are you fucking with me? Why are you fucking with me, huh? So then DP hit him with a baby knife, and we we'll just headbutts my man like Tanjiro did to a no scare. That CTE gonna be critical. And I guess that was all he needed, because bro ended up surrendering. You can't tell me Deadpool fans wasn't in theaters having a smile one second and a straight face the other, because I know when I saw this, I fell down to my knees. But then I got my black ass right back up and grabbed my popcorn, because boy, this movie was definitely cooking. Yeah. And speaking of cooking, I partnered with Gimme Swag to have my very own plush toy be made. Okay. We try to sell as much of these as possible to donate to children's hospitals all around the globe, so definitely check out the link in the description below okay. to go cop one before they are all gone. And while you at it, make sure to sub to my other socials because you know, your boy trying to reach his dreams of being a full-time content creator, you feel me? Yeah. So I'll fast forward that. later into the... Okay, W, W713, W, W film and we see them heated in the car because Logan told DP he's more worthless than Wasp in today's society. And that means you pretty damn worthless because Wasp don't be doing nothing but harming people. Just yeah. had to throw that in there. Yeah. So Wolverine's like, oh, are you mad? Then swing on me, you bald mother. This. Necro, you finna die. <laughs> so Logan starts throwing them haymakers and then hit dude with another blast from the past because he starts slamming his head into the radio just like in the first movie. He then buckle his ass up like he about to take him on a joyride and then injects his knives into Deadpool's stomach. Had him looking like Scarecrow when he injected Bruce with that fear toxin. Now Logan try and hit him with it again, but my guy Deadpool hits the now lean back. Lean back <laughs> on his ass and dodges it. He then traps this man with his legs like he a thought forcing a dude to become a baby daddy and starts slamming him to the window over and over again. And Wolverine anger starts going off the charts. So he gets a good shot in the dude's love handle, but then gets kicked out the front window. Had him looking like John Wick with how long he was tumbling for. And when that happened, my guy immediately gets up because he's like, I can't let this slide. I've got to ratio this nigga. So he shoulder checks a van harder than an NFL player standing on business. And now I know that this is supposed to be like a serious fight, but here's where the funny part is. Because after he did that, my man really jumped through the window out of pure rage. But all I seen in this moment was Foxy's jump scare from the app too. Like, like y'all can't look me in my eye and say I'm lying because y'all know I'm spitting. Even when you put it side by side, the resemblance is 100%. Bet money though. the next time a Wolverine movie drop and you don't watch it by 6 a.m., all you're going to see next is... <laughs> That's clever, bro. That's clever. So they start going back at oh, it man, and then Deadpool get popped out the whole van this... like a kid getting bumped out the air mask. Damn. And now this is where the disrespect comes in. No, not this disrespect. We don't touch kids no, over nah. here. I mean, the, yeah. All right, I'm finna get disrespectful in this motherfucker. Look, type of disrespect. Because Logan is in the car and he don't even show his face. He just raises his hand and it's like, bring it. Blood didn't even need any words. His hand was out and that alone spoke a whole sentence. He's about to cook. And that's exactly what he do, because DP charge in, and then Logan breaks his whole arm like a Kit Kat bar, yep. slams him through the back window, and then pulls him back in for some more hands. But Deadpool finally get more of a grip than the suit on his ass, because he start wrapping the seatbelt around Wolvie's neck. Unfortunately, though, it wasn't really that helpful, because he immediately cut that thing off and put his knives in his brain and then start applying that knee of fury, you feel me? But my goat takes out one last weapon and puts an end to bro kicks real quick and then 
pushes <laughs> him off. They then have a quick trash talk session and have a whole nother fight off screen that literally lasted oh, over a day. Yes. You know how much beef you gotta have with someone to want to swing on them for 24 hours straight? <laughs> you get 30 minutes max from fighting with me. And then after that, I don't even care about the beef no more. So kudos to this. Anyways, we fast forward to the end of the fight and then we see Wolverine slumped in the car like he off melatonin and then my red goat over here completely wrapped up with a seatbelt. Man got turned into Zoro during the Wano arc with how much he got wrapped up. But speaking of wrapped up, that wraps up this video of how Wolverine and Deadpool scrapped for 24 hours straight. Mm. All right. This recap went hard, man. Oh, man. W recap 713. W recap. I'm subscribing to you, man. I'm subscribing to you right now. Man, this this is W recap. <laughs> I love the fact he actually compared the Wolverine launch at that Deadpool at that Friday Night Freddy's, um, Friday Night Freddy's 2 game. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was hilarious. Oh, man. That was great. W recap 713. Keep up a great work with these, man. So, Hot Squad, it's finally, finally has come down to this. We finally have made it. Made it to my conclusion of my Hulk Banger recap of 713 Rich Kids Dipper Wolverine recap. So if you enjoyed this, please hit up on the couch, share thoughts. Have you seen Dipper Wolverine? How many times are you going to see it? Are you going to get by for digital? Do y'all want me to do a Dipper Wolverine reaction soon? Hopefully, you know, if things work out, whatnot, if my schedule is right. But hopefully, like I said, I will get a chance to do it. So, all squad, we're going to check the Hulk Banger trailers because we're going to check out the official trailer of Sinners in a few moments. So, please, Hulk squad, stay tuned. <laughs> 